Guys, welcome back to Gonto series. In the earlier tutorial, we modified our first Spring project to see a demo on dependency injection using constructor way. We will now modify the same example to talk about dependency injection using the setup method way. This is what we did earlier. We took an example of a restaurant and T class. We created restaurant class, T class and an interface hot ring and provided all our project's configuration in the springs config.xml file. In this file, we simply instructed Spring Framework that whenever in our test class we request for a restaurant bean, you first create the T object or T bean and then inject this object or bean into the restaurant class constructor by going through this syntax. Now there's one more facility Spring has provided to us and that is we can do the same task using a setter method instead of a constructor in the restaurant class. So what we're going to do is in the restaurant class, I will simply remove this restaurant constructor and write a setter method here. And in the spring configuration file, I'll simply change this statement with some other statement just to instruct spring framework to use the setter method in the restaurant class instead of its constructor to inject T bean into the restaurant class. All right, so let's make the changes. In the restaurant class, just remove this constructor and add a setter method here. So what we'll do is we'll just modify this constructor to its setter method. Public white set hot drink. So in the restaurant class, we just have a hot drink property, which is basically an interface and a setter method which Spring Framework would use at runtime to set its value with the T object. All right, so let's modify Spring configuration file as well. Just to save some time, I've already made the changes. So let's go through it. So here I'm simply instructing Spring Framework that at runtime, it should just find out the hot drink property in the restaurant class and using its setter method, it should provide this value to it. And we know this value is nothing but a T bean or a T object. All right. So our program is ready. Let's go and run our program. So with this demo, we saw how to use Spring Framework for providing dependencies of an object using the setter method way. In the next tutorial, we'll go through some of the important configurations which we can set in the Spring configuration file, which are very, very important to learn. Guys, thanks for liking our tutorials and providing feedback to us through emails and comments. Believe me, your comments and feedback is really valuable to us. Do like this video if you really like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all updates on latest video tutorials and programming stuff.